Hey guys, hello. Happy post-Christmas, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Are all of you guys back to work? Are you still on vacation? I'm just hanging out today with Shabby Daddy, and we've been doing a couple different little projects around the house, and I thought I would get on real quick and show you an upcoming workshop that I'm prepping for. And I'm just going to pull you guys up on my iPad as usual. So say hello as you're coming in. Let me know how your Christmas was. I want to hear all about it. Uh, let me see here. Where am I? Where am I? Just give me a second here. Make sure I can see everybody coming in. Hello. Okay, there I am. Hi, guys. How was your Christmas? Hey, hey, hey. So let me know that you guys can hear me okay and everything. And, um, okay, cool. I'm getting some thumbs up, so I'm taking it. That's good. So I am working on my January and February workshop planning. So what I thought I would do is um, I need, obviously, I always need to prep a project and have project examples that I can post um, for my upcoming workshop. So this afternoon, I was in here and decided to start working on some rustic wood coasters. Hey, Barb. Hey, Deborah. Um, and coasters, yeah, you're right. Coasters do seem to be big right now. So that's why I thought I would um, hop on and kind of show you guys what I'm doing. Um, Chevy Daddy, what size did you say these were? <laughs> huh? No. With th thickness. Huh? Three eighths. Okay, so what I did, guys, is I had some uh, plywood laying around. This is just rustic common plywood, and it's three eighths inch uh, thick. And I just took it and I cut it down into four and a quarter squares. And the reason that I chose four and a quarter squares is that I purchased, I ordered um, from Amazon some cork. They have adhesive back cork squares that are four inches so they'll be slightly you know in from the edges uh, that will be ad uh, adhered to the back of these so that's all these are is just rustic cut um, again plywood pieces and uh, I just take a sanding block and smooth off the edges a little bit just so there's no splinters on them um, and then they are good to go for painting. So that is the step that I'm at right now. Hey guys, did you come and say hello so I can say hi back to you guys? I missed you since Christmas. I can't believe how fast the holidays went. It's just insane, isn't it? Um, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy to me that we are looking at a new year already. Um, just wild. And it's been brown here in Wisconsin. We had a small dusting uh, for Christmas morning here and it quickly melted away when temperatures reached like 39 degrees. So, hey Tara. Um, so I am looking forward to getting some true winter in Wisconsin. I want to get dumped on like six to 10 inches. <laughs> I know, don't shoot me. I love the snow in the winter. If you're going to have winter and be cold in Wisconsin, you got to have snow, right? Okay, so guys, that's where I'm at. Four and a quarter inch, um, just rustic square. And um, I have gone ahead. I'm going to flip you guys down. And again, say hi. As you're coming in, I'm going to flip you down to my work surface here. And just hang on a second. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Um, so these are the squares that I have painted thus far, and I'm going to finish painting this one. A couple of tips for you to get the edges. Make sure that you um, paint the edges first, because <laughs> then you have a nice, easy place to hang on to your, your tile while you do that, your wood tile while you do that. So I've already gone ahead and I've painted this one. I just need to do the flat surface here. So I'm going to do that real quick while you're watching. So did everybody have a good Christmas? Did you get, did Santa bring you everything you wanted? <laughs> oh, we had, we hosted Shabby Daddy's family. Our Christmas was pretty much over with before Christmas. Anybody else in that boat? You know, when you got big families and you try to um, toggle schedules so that you can all get together um, at a convenient time for the majority and things like that. Um, so that was our Christmas. We, we actually had our celebration on Sunday. Um, 
and then Christmas morning breakfast with some of the kids that were here. Uh, and then Christmas Day, it was just the two of us. So it's kind of kind of getting to be that way more and more as the kids get older and have their own lives, right? Hey, Mary. Hey, Christy. Hey, Tara. You got a Fitbit? Ooh, yeah, girl. I hear you about that. I need to get fit in the new year, I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna hit this with a blow dryer real quick. You're off today, Lisa, that's awesome. Mary would love the snow too. I know, it's just not winter without white on the ground. I, If I didn't want white on the ground, I'd be in Florida, right? <laughs> So you guys can see how fast this chalk style paint um, dries. Look at that. This tile is like already dry. And I'm gonna just share with you what I'm using for these. Look at these beautiful colors. I love them together. Um, this is Debbie's DIY paint. It is, I'm using, this is Bohemian. Um, let me look real quick here. Bohemian blue, beautiful, beautiful blue. Love, love, love that. And this lighter color here is called, um, I think this is Skeleton Key. So I thought these two were really gorgeous together. So that is the color palette that I'm going with today. Um, and it is, like I said, it's a chalk style paint. It dries really, really fast. And, um, that's one of the reasons why I like to use it for, for projects and for workshops. Uh, okay, so my next step, guys, I'm going to be using, um, let's start with, let's start with our dark bohemian blue. So a couple of things. I have these um, sanding sponges. Um, I like to go ahead and kind of knock off some of the paint especially on the edges. Again, we're going for you know, a rustic look, so we kind of want it to look worn a little bit. And um, even on the surface, we could do that a little bit. Get some of the, the grain <clears throat> coming through. So again, this is just, you know, whatever your preference is, um, just kind of rough them up a little bit. Hey, Wendy, where do I get that DIY paint? Um, if you go to, um, to uh, just Google Debbie's DIY paint um, and you get to her website, she has a uh, find a retailer and you can find a local retailer near you or someone who might carry it online, okay? All right. So you can see, I just kind of, you know, lightly hit up the edges because I want some of that wood tone to come through. All right. Let me just blow off my surface there. All right. So you guys have seen me use um, Iron Orchid Designs decor stamps before, and that is what I'm going to use on these particular uh, coasters that I'm making today. And guys, if you wouldn't mind sharing this out uh, for me, I would greatly appreciate it. You got some crafty friends, or if you live in the area um, and you know someone that might be interested in attending a workshop with you. Um, and I'm going to get a couple scheduled here in the next few days. And this is going to be one of them. You're going to get to make a set of four um, of these rustic wood coasters and you're going to get to use um, the cool IOD products, which is Iron Orchid Designs. And I carry these amazing stamps in my online website at theweatheredshed.com. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using um, the Rose Toile stamp. And I'm also going to be using Kindest Regard as well. This is um, a scripted letter, which is a really, really cool print. And as you just saw, I wrapped my board this is the board that i'm going to brayer my paint off of and i just thank you barb for sharing i just used a piece of press and seal on a just scrap piece of wood that i had laying around this is a great way to just utilize what you have um, to make a nice surface for for brayering okay so i'm just going to get some of this skeletal key 
on my board here. And I don't need a ton. And again, I'm just gonna take my brayer and just go roll it through the paint, making sure I get it covered really well. Okay. And you can see there, guys, nice thin layer. That's why I love these brayers. We sell these as well. Um, they're made by Iron Orchid. I absolutely love them. These are nice, hard, a harder kind of a rubber brayer. Um, very, very nice quality. And um, so I love using those for um, getting paint or ink or whatever your medium is um, onto your stamps. So I'm just going to take a corner here and I'm just you can see I'm just rolling right over the lettering in this section here okay I'm going to take my stamp and again not going for perfection I'm just going to lay this right down and press like so pull it up look at that look how beautiful that is isn't that gorgeous? It's as simple as that, you guys. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So as you can see, my set of four coasters, I'm just interchanging the colors because I thought that would be so um, pretty together to utilize um, kind of offsetting with the two different colors, right? Um, so I'm going to do another little section on here for the other one. Just going to, again, brayer on. And I suppose you could go this way as well. I've never tried it, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. So that is what I'm gonna do. Upside down and just press onto the stamp versus you putting the stamp onto the coaster. Voila, look at that. Perfect. So aren't those beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful, just like that. Love, love, love the Kindest Regard stamp. It makes a great backdrop, too, for adding another stamp design on top. So um, I'm just going to hit these with a blow dryer. Aren't those pretty, guys? Simple, but beautiful, rustic coasters. And I have for the workshop will be um, we'll have options of a, a few various different stamps to be able to use, um, so you can really get creative depending on what the look that you like. Okay. All right. So this one, yeah, that's totally dry. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to take my I have this little butterfly guy, and I absolutely love him. Um, so this butterfly is from the Rose Toile, the Rose Toile stamp. So I'm just going to, um, again, brayer some ink onto him. And I actually pulled him right off of the backing sheet. And I'm just going to freehand him right on to the tile where I want him. So I'm just going to put him up in the corner here like that. Press down. Try not to shift or move the, the stamp around and pull them off. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. He's perfect. Just perfect. Um, so that is one. And then I want to take a portion of the rose toile design as well. And I want to overlay that. I'm glad you guys like it. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the love. All right, so now I'm going to take part of the rose toile design and I'm going to overlay that on this one in the corner, like so. And there you go. There you have it, there's two. So those are very, very pretty. Now I'm going to show you the opposite color effect on the lighter skeleton, skeletal, what, skeleton's key this is called, right? Yeah. Skeleton's key. Where's my other? All right. 
So I only have my one brayer. So what I do, guys, I just use plain old baby wipes. Hey, Susan. I just use plain old baby wipes. I just always have them handy out here in the workshop. I just quickly wipe this off so that I can use it with my next color. Not a big deal. Susan, you taking a break? I hope, are you working today? Thanks for joining. All right, so that's that. And then I'm going to take my Bohemian, a little bit of my Bohemian blue now, and I'm going to put some of that on my board, like so. I love, love, love these colors. Amazing. Hey, George. George, I just cut the cut the coasters out of um, just common plywood, three eighths inch plywood. Simple, simple. Um, so these, let's see. This, the, this is some lettering that is also part of the Rose Toile set. So I'm going to go ahead and brayer onto that for this next one. Okay, I'm just going to take it in the corner here, press it down. And the nice thing about the stamps, guys, is you can use them like I am, just free-forming it. Um, I'm not going for perfection. I don't care if there's a little blur on it. Um, that is the beauty of these kinds of handmade items. Um, I love the imperfection. I'm not going for perfection, and um, I love the look of that. So that is, um, that is the look I'm trying to achieve. So I'm just going to take my little dragonfly guy again and go... Put him on this one as well, up here in the corner, swooping down like so. Bookkeeping for Farmer Joe. Oh, that doesn't sound too fun. <laughs> I'm glad Shabby Daddy does my bookkeeping because <laughs> that is not something I like to do, that's for sure. So can you guys see that? Look at that. Isn't that just, just so, it's like simplistic, just beauty, right? Just so pretty, simple and pretty. Um, I just absolutely love that. Here's another word I'm going to add to the corner down here. Again, going kind of off the page. Like so, look at that, so pretty. Simple and pretty, right? And again, I mean, sky's the limit with these tiles, guys, because I have all sorts of, um, all sorts of different stamps that we can use. Um, all Iron Orchid Design stamps. So um, this workshop, I will have a bunch of different stamps to use, and you can just um, let your juices flow. So let me just put this one on here. Yeah, like that. Another rose. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now on this one, we can also do, um, you know, monogram tiles are great. These could be used for, um, you know, a bridal shower gift, um, just for yourself, right? Um, who doesn't like stuff that's monogrammed? So I'm just going to brayer up a little more paint here. And I'm going to put an L for our last name. I'm going to do just do a little L here.
All right. I'm going to put that in the corner of this one right there. Like so. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Simple, beautiful. I absolutely love, love, love this. Let me hold it up closer so you guys can see. So this is the rose, part of the rose toile. And you can see it, it didn't even catch all the way the design, but that is what makes it beautiful. That's what makes it handmade, original, rustic. And um, again, you know, you can just um, sand off the edges, adding to that rustic look and feel. Um, and then what I will do, guys, is I will go ahead and I will seal these. So you guys have been asking about sealing. Um, so I will take a... I'm actually, this is my preferred sealer with a lot of my rustic things that I'm doing lately is flat out flat. This is made by General Finishes. Um, I believe you can, you, they have a, you know, find a retailer on their website as well. Um, but I think this is also even available on Amazon nowadays. Um, but I love flat out flat because it will maintain this nice flat look to it, but still protect the tile um, for when you're putting your glasses and things on it. So I will put a couple coats on this and then um, put it to the test with some glasses and um, I'm sure they will be just fine. But what a beautiful little set, right guys? I mean, you could just put these together, package these together. I mean, who, who would not want to receive a lovely little set like this in a um, little muslin bag with a drawstring on it um, that even maybe has the person's um, uh, initial, again, stamped right on the bag to tie it all together. So that is going to be a, an upcoming workshop, you guys. So you'll get it to make a set of four coasters, and um, you'll get a little muslin bag to put them in. And um, yeah, so what do you think? You guys like it? Hey, Lori. So that is all I had for you guys today. Thank you for joining, and I hope you all have had a wonderful Christmas, and you have a great upcoming New Year as well, and uh, we will talk to you again soon. Okay, guys? Bye-bye. Take care.